Hello, my name is Marianne Keane and I'm a data science consultant at Presidian, a version one company. In this short video, I will show you how to run a time series model within SPSS statistics. Time series forecasting predicts future values of a particular quantity based on previously observed values of that quantity. We will look at a case study of a business that needs to plan staffing levels for the weeks ahead based on historic activity. At the end of this video, you will find details on other videos similar to this one, as well as social media information for Presidian. Typical examples of uses of time series include forecasting quarterly interest rates, monthly unemployment rates, annual sales of cigarettes, and so on. The data used in this video is from a private mailing company and measures the volume of parcels delivered each day of the week, including weekends, over an 18-week period. The goal of the mailing company is to forecast the demand for its delivery service two weeks ahead so that it can arrange the appropriate staffing levels. So from an analytics point of view, we want to identify patterns in the past data to help make forecasts for the future. The first thing we should start with is a plot to get a high level view. Looking at a simple line chart, of parcel deliveries over time, we can see that there is a weekly cycle between this point here, which was uh, the first observation is a Sunday, and this point here two weeks later, we can see a, a, a dip, or, sorry, a, a peak midweek, dip again at the weekend and, and a peak at the following week. We can also see a trend over time where parcel deliveries have been increasing week on week. Moving now to the forecasting model, we go to analyze, forecasting, create traditional models, and we're immediately prompted to set up the time and time interval for the time, time series model. So we'll do that now, we'll define date and time, and we want to select weeks and days. We're doing this because we have, of all these options, we've selected this one because we have observed a weekly cycle within our data. So we want to set the periodicity, which refers to the, the cyclical nature of the data, at seven days. If the weekly cycle hadn't been so obvious from the data, we could have run autocorrelation plots to identify the same weekly trend. Those are also available in the forecasting menu in SPSS statistics. In this simple example, the weekly cycle is evident and we'll pr proceed directly to the time series model. back to analyze, forecasting, and a tr traditional time series model, we simply need to place parcel in the dependent variables box. Our estimation period is going to start with the first case for which we have parcel counts, delivery counts, and end with the last case. And we have set out in the data a forecast period which I will show you quickly. So at the bottom of this data set, we've added in further dates corresponding to the two weeks ahead that we wish to forecast. So back to our time series modeler, we put parcel in the dependent variable box. The model will run and output a number of statistics and plots. And we also want to save our predicted values. This is where the business will use these values to, to plan staffing levels for the two weeks ahead. We can look at predicted values and the lower and upper confidence limits. This will give a range around the prediction. Taking a quick look at the output, we see the red line corresponding to historic parcel delivery counts and the blue line corresponding to the forecast values for the two weeks ahead. And within our data, the additional columns are here, giving the business the actual volumes, the best estimate of parcel deliveries in the two weeks ahead, combined with an upper and lower range in each case. 
and these estimates will provide a valuable aid to the mailing company in planning day-by-day staffing levels for the two weeks ahead. Thank you for watching this video. You can find more information, videos and other resources on our website. You can also subscribe to our newsletter and YouTube channel and follow us on social media so that you'll never miss an update.